gentleman from Oregon is recognized for two minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. As a veterinarian and an organic farmer, having spent six years in the House Ag Committee, including two as ranking member of the Horticulture and Biotechnology Subcommittee, I've studied GMOs very closely, and it's something I take very seriously. In fact, back in the 80s, I helped write our state organic standards in Oregon. For thousands of years, humans have grown or bred plants and animals cho to choose the most desirable traits for breeding the next generations in an effort to help them be able to resist pests, disease, and increase yields. Through biotechnology, we've been able to increase productivity and efficiency while reducing the number of inputs like water, pesticides, resulting in higher crop yields. Higher crop yields break or allow for better land management and conservation of marginal lands. GMOs in combination with good agricultural practices also improve soil quality, reduce pollution by allowing farmers to till, work the ground, less often or not at all, reducing soil erosion, reducing the carbon footprint of agriculture. If you're worried about climate change and want good science, you should be for this bill. GM crops flourish in challenging environments without the aid of expensive pesticides or equipment that play an important role in alleviating hunger and food stress in the developing world. This is precisely why I'm very concerned about the demonization of biotechnology and the rejection by many of the supporting science behind it. Food labeling should be about health and safety. The reason we have USDA and FDA is to provide uniform protection to consumers across this country, avoiding a patchwork of politically motivated, you know, non-scientific, mythological regulations by activists, not scientists. And right to know is protected in this bill. We've heard from many on polls. I'd like to cite one. The Pew Research Center conducted a poll recently and found nearly 90 percent, yeah, 90 percent, the scientific community found genetically engineered food is safe and poses no, no health threat to, to the environment or humans. 1599 provides a uniform standard for non-GMO products through a USDA-administered program, ensures national uniformity for non-GE claims, and provides consistency in the marketplace while ensuring consumer confidence in the integrity.